Right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. Be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right. Now, um, I have this this article here that I want to briefly, you know, go into as it's in relation to um, um, food shortages. All right. And um, not only that, engineered, you know, food shortages that has been, um, you know, the topic of concern as of recent, especially concerning, you know, the, um, the realm of farming. And that's throughout the four corners of the globe. As we know, you have the uh, Bill Gates of hell buying up, you know, all of the farmland in Babylon. And you also have, you know, uproars concerning, you know, UK farmers in response to, um, you know, particular policies and laws that are getting ready to be put in place and are being put in place that's going to heavily restrict their ability to carry out, you know, their job and to, um, you know, supply the British public on demand with what they need, all right, which we know this is um, in order to, you know, gain control of the food industry, all right, so they really want to do away with, you know, independent farmers, they want everything to be owned through, you know, the um, elite governing bodies that dominate, you know, enterprises throughout the four corners of the globe, okay, so that's the agenda. Now it says here, fears of surging food prices and empty supermarket shelves thanks to new post-Brexit border charge that will see suppliers pay up to £145 to bring cheese, fish and salami to the UK from the end of the month. Okay, so you got extra payments that are being enforced really you know, to act as a deterrent for independent business, okay? Because a lot of um, a lot of individuals, you know, businesses, so on and so forth, they're already, you know, struggling to make ends meet. So introducing, you know, more taxes, you know, more payments for these um, businesses to pay, you know, is only making things worse, all right? But at the same time, is furthering, you know, the agenda of the wicked elites by, um, you know, creating these deterrents for people to enter into, you know, the business world and to keep, you know, the business that they already have. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it says Im importers bringing small amounts of cold products such as cheese, Salami and fish into Britain through the port of Dover or the Euro Tunnel will have to pay up to £145 to do so from April 30th, according to guidance published on Wednesday. The common user charge, as it is known, will govern the, mo the movements of commercial, not personal, animal and plant products for imports entering the UK as well as as transits leaving the country. Importers have warned that the new charges could lead to higher prices for consumers or reduce the amount of products available to shoppers if some importers are put off. All right, so there you go. So there's going to be more looming um, restrictions on food avail availability, okay? So just like during the time of the uh, pandemic, you know, there was particular times where you couldn't find eggs, you couldn't find, you know, flour, okay? There were particular things that were very hard to get at particular points of the pandemic. So that's getting ready, you know, to happen all over again. But trust, this time it's going to be much worse, okay? Because like I said in the beginning of the lesson, 
all of these things are engineered actions of uh, chaos to bring pure hell, you know, upon the people and ultimately bring them into submission and total dependence on the uh, government, okay? So it says, importers have warned that new charges could lead to higher prices for consumers, which is going to further um, affect, you know, the cost of living crisis or reduce the amount of products available to shoppers if some importers are put off, which they know, you know, importers are going to be put off by those um, fees. Okay, that's why they've listed it in the article. Of course, people are going to be put off by an extra, you know, fee that they're going to have to pay. You know, they will find a way to, to make that money elsewhere. Okay, now, let me get right quick. Um, Isaiah uh, chapter 10 and verse 1, all right? Because ultimately, these are unrighteous decrees. But this is also biblical prophecy, you know, unfolding. Now, this is Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. And it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? So these are unrighteous decrees that are being um, implemented upon the earth. Okay? In order, you know, to push the agenda of total control and manipulation of the people. Okay, now, you know, this is engineered because at the same time that's happening, you also have these cases of, um, you know, the bird flu. Okay, it says Texas egg facility holds production of the bird flu found in chickens. Chickens keepers must register to beat bird flu. More control, more information, more data. All right. So a lot of these things that's happening are engineered um uh engineered chaos all right engineered crisis okay to gain more control over the food because if you control the food you ultimately control the people all right we live in a we live in a um society where many people have not even gone a day without eating food all right many people haven't even gone 24 hours you know without tasting something in their mouth that's the kind of society that we live in so when it comes to the point of food being scarce or you not having access to a particular um food you know regime you know that you're used to a lot of people are going to bug out okay a lot of people are going to bug out man a lot of people are going to submit to the powers that be all right when they introduce that mltb for the sheer thought and fear of not being able to feed themselves or their family, okay? So very serious times are brewing, you know, upon the earth, man, okay? Very, very serious times are brewing. Now, remember you had um, all of these mysterious plane crashes into these food factories last year that was happening and the year before. You kept having these reports of aeroplanes flying into these buildings that happened to be, you know, buildings that manufacture food. OK, and I believe that's still happening. You know, there's particular maps that you can go on online and they show you, you know, the latest um, food, you know, um, warehouses, you know, that have been hit up by mysterious plane crashes, man. So you're trying to tell me that that's not engineered. OK, that's controlled um, um, destruction that they're doing, man. And you also had... um particular laws that are being put in place to um basically um i forget exactly the intricacies of the law but as a result you have many farmers that had to do away with a lot of their harvest all right with a lot of their produce so you had tons of you know onions and potatoes you know being um basically made illegal and they had to do away with them they weren't allowed to sell them okay so there's all kind of um unrighteous you know, things happening, you know, concerning, you know, the wickedness of the elites and the hell, you know, they, that they're putting on these independent, independent, you know, farmers, okay? But it's all, you know, for a reason, all right? Now, right quick, here's another article. This is from the Independent or called it UK. And it says, farmers ride tractors into central London in major protests over trade deals, all right? And this is dated the 26th of March, 2024, 
And as you can see here in the video, all right, you had this protest out here in the UK where you had the tractors pull up in central London, you know, to protest the, um, you know, the unrighteous decrees that are getting ready to uh, be put in place. All right. You know what? Let me f refresh this page. So I don't think that was the actual um, video. Let's see if it plays it now. All right, here it is. Here's the video. All right, it's playing the advert first. But, you know, basically, you know, you had, um, you know, these tractors, you know, go to central London and, um, you know, basically cause a disturbance, you know, in the form of a protest. All right. Because of, you know, all of the restrictions that are being put upon their business and purposefully, you know, making it hard for them to, you know, operate and to sell, you know, their, um, their merchandise. All right. All right, so it says tractor riding farmers. Let me get rid of this. Tractor riding farmers have descended on Westminster to protest against trading arrangements they claim will disseminate British farming and jeopardize UK food security. Okay, so this is what the, the farmers are claiming that these um these trading agreements that are being put in place they're built to disseminate and to jeopardize the UK food security. Now, why would they want to jeopardize UK food security? So they can take control, okay? So whenever you get food, okay, whenever you want something, you will have to go to, you know, these um, huge corporate enterprises, man, okay? You, you won't be able to go to your independent farmer and buy your, you know, organic chicken or organic milk, so on and so forth. That's going to be a thing of the past. Everything you get is going to be from, from a governing body. Okay? And that's the new world order system. Now it says, Campaign groups say British farming and fairness for farmers of Kent have assembled a go slow convoy around Parliament with organisers expecting 50 to 100 tractors as well as other farm vehicles. All right? So that's what's going on. All right? I'm not going to get all up into this article Lord willing, I'll post them in the description box, you know, so you can um, go into it yourselves. But, hey, just to highlight, there's there's some heavy things happening up on the earth, man. And before you know it, it's going to be affecting, you know, your everyday life. All right. Now, this is Second Esdras, chapter 6 and verse 22. And it reads, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. OK, so this is biblical prophecy and through many different ways and means. All right. They've caused this to happen upon the earth. OK, and they're going to continue to cause this to happen to force you people into subjection. OK, you're going to carry on to see food shortages. You're going to carry on hearing about warehouses being empty. OK, and, you know, ports being blocked off because of, you know, collides in in, in bridges and so, so, so on and so forth. All of these things are happening. OK, and every time. You know these 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 um situations happen. You're always hearing about how, you know, um, delivery has been affected because this place is now you know has to take a different route and this ship has to take this route. Now it costs more money, more fuel, so then prices have to rise here and there. You know, it, it, it's a chain reaction. Okay, it's a chain reaction of disaster that's happening upon the earth, but it's it's all by design. Okay, so again, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Now, I want to read this also. I have it here loaded up in news translation, Second Esther um, 6 and verse uh, 22. And this is in the good news translation. It says, planted fields will suddenly become bare and full barns will suddenly become empty. All right. So that's happening. All right. This is <laughs> this is undoubtedly, you know, happening upon the earth right now concerning these farms, concerning, you know, these independent, you know, points of uh, merchandise, man. OK, it's happening. All right. So they're purposefully making it harder for these people to function so that, you you know, the, the minimalization of food outlets, 
is going to be centralized to just you know the, the 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 governing bodies man okay linked to the government so this is all by design man all right now last scripture i want to get and then we'll close out this is second chapter 15 and verse 18 and it reads for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid okay so this time of trouble is coming all right and it's gonna hurt the cities real bad okay because everyone depends on their local supermarket in order to sustain themselves and to sustain their family okay their, their local tesco their asda uh you know walmart you know if, if you're if you're in babylon okay sainsbury's you know over here in the uk people depend on these shops all right for their livelihood okay the only people that go to actual farms um in the uk you know is, is really people that are well to do and they can afford it all right because when you go to farms a lot of the stuff is very expensive because it's organic a lot of the stuff is organic all right and the milk is better quality you know so on and so forth they ain't pumped with chemicals so a lot of the stuff is is higher price you know i've been to a few farms okay so many people depend on these supermarkets but really it's better to eat from you know these these farms okay and it says, um, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right. So that, that this dog eat dog, you know, spirit and mentality is going to start to um, breed, you know, in society more and more. OK, as it tells us in Matthew 24, you know, because iniquity shall abound, the heart of many shall wax cold. We're coming into that time. All right. We are definitely coming into that time with all of these things coming into play. All right. So I'm going to cut it off there. Lord willing, this uh, lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom.